Supreme Understanding Rap Race and Revolution HustlingWin.com. I don't normally do things like pressing at the moment, you know what I mean? Like just responding to something real quick because I like to take time. But uh, this is something that needs to get out, needs to get out quick, so I'm doing it quick. Because nobody else is doing it, apparently. Cynthia McKinney, former presidential candidate, former U.S. Congresswoman, stand up black woman on damn near every issue you can think of, any issue you care about. She probably took the right stance on it. She's been kidnapped. And nobody's reporting it. And she's been kidnapped by the Israeli government. She's being held hostage along with about 20 other humanitarian, uh, you know, human rights workers. And nobody's reporting it. You don't know who Cynthia McKinney is. Like I said, former congresswoman, U.S. presidential candidate for the Green Party. You know, she was, you know, while she was in government, you know, uh, she was on it, on every issue you could think of. Uh, Impeaching George Bush, she initiated the articles of impeachment on that. Releasing records on the MLK assassination that would have put out who really did it, how it went down. She was fighting for that. She was even looking into Tupac and Big's mur murders because she was, you know, she's down with the hip-hop generation. She's an advocate for us. Hurricane Katrina, she was there in the trenches putting in work. She's, an anti she's been anti-war, human rights, free Gaza, all that. And so that's what brought her to... Uh, the Gaza Strip, at least in the area, she ain't even get there because the Israeli Navy got her. Um, basically, she's on the boat with about 20 other people, and uh, she had tried this like I think a year or so ago. And the last time they ran the boat, I think they had shot at the boat, and uh, they basically made them have to dock in uh, Lebanon. They couldn't even finish off their work, and all they was doing was bringing food and medical supplies. Same thing that they're doing this time, um, or they were trying to do this time. Israeli Navy again stopped them. They were in international waters when they got stopped, but they weren't even in Israel waters. They got stopped. They took the people on the boat, off the boat. First they delayed the boat, wouldn't let the boat proceed. Then they just took the people off the boat. Now they got the people. Now they got sent to McKinney. Um, come on, man. I know, I know we sit on our ass about damn near everything. We sat on our ass about them killing Mike. We want to think, you know, other ways about it. We sat on our ass when they killed Pop. We sat on our ass when they killed damn near every one of our people. They sat on our ass when they killed Cochran. I ain't no conspiracy theorist, man. This shit is just real. We sat on our ass when they did it. We sat on our ass when they let our people die in Hurricane Katrina. We sat on our ass for everything. We sat on our ass for everything. I mean, you know, here's a woman who's been fighting for you. Don't sit on your ass, man. I'm sick. I, like, I Googled the shit. You know how I found out about it? I found out about it from one of my comrades that's in Palestine. I ain't found out about it from the internet or from Facebook. Wasn't nobody posting any status updates. It wasn't on no MySpace bulletins. At least not none that I seen. When I Googled it, I couldn't come up with nothing. The first listing on Cynthia McKinney being taken hostage, you know where it was? On the Stormfront white supremacist website because they, you know, they're anti-Zionist. They were willing to put a black woman being taken hostage by the Israeli government before any of our sites did it. Now, there was a couple of blog sites that did it, but wasn't no Associated Press, wasn't no Reuters, wasn't no news covering it. But the, my problem is, I don't expect them to do that. But we wasn't doing it either. We wasn't doing it either. You mean to tell me don't none of us know what's going on with the Cindy, with Cindy McKinney? She's on Facebook. There's somebody posting saying, because I looked at this, there's somebody posting saying, yo, we haven't heard from Cynthia. So what's our problem? Why ain't the word spreading? It was on Black Planet, though. And here's what's deep. Let me let me pull it up. It's on Black Planet, and it uh, how many views did it get? Only I don't know even know how many views it got because Black Planet was reposting something from CNN's I Report. If you don't know what I Report is, it's basically where you can post news for yourself, like news that you know about. You can post it. You can do a little video, and you can post like you're a real reporter. You can play reporter. How many views does this I Report video have? 147 views. That's I got more than 147 views talking about Michael Jackson. This is a former congresswoman getting kidnapped. When they, uh, when the Somali, when the Somali pirates had this, a uh, non, this no-name captain hostage, it, that was all over the news. This is a former congresswoman. So anyway, on this I report thing, he's he's talking about. You can look it up. I mean, you know, he's going into what happened, how it happened, and and, and all the details. And basically, you know, they were taking the Israeli government was taking medicine. Toys, olive trees, olive trees. So Black Black Planet reposts this. This is the only major website to repost this, like on their site. 
And who even visits Black Planet nowadays? This is this of seven comments. Every last one of them. Let me read them. Why isn't she delivering humanitarian aid to Philly or Chicago? Hurricane survivors in Georgia need help. Um, I think the hurricane survivors in Georgia need some treatment. Uh, laughing out loud. Maybe we won't have to hear about Cynthia McKinney anymore. You fucking asshole. Uh, my bad. Why ain't she in Georgia helping you and the rest of Katrina's children? These are the responses. So if you want to know why the hell she ain't trying to help your ass, that's the fuck why. Y'all ungrateful motherfuckers. We so ungrateful. She's kid. She's being held hostage right now, and ain't nobody even bothering to report it. I told my homies they was text messaging out the same day. I'm talking about you know that thing where you can text message and send it to all the people on your list. Do that. At least do that. Spread the awareness. That's what she was doing. The thing is, she's on a boat with people from all different countries. Everything from Ireland to Scotland to Bahrain to Abu Dhabi and whatever else. And they are all dedicated to the causes of solidarity among people of color throughout the planet and the oppressed throughout the planet and people that deserve human rights throughout the planet and the fact that we're, you know, if you're oppressed, you got something in common. And working from there, we got a lot to fight for. We got a lot that we can accomplish if we stop fighting amongst each other and stop being so self-centered and fight together. So I applaud her for doing that. There's people doing work in America. There's people doing work in local hoods. There's people like me. There's people like you. Maybe we doing work. Then we need people doing other stuff too. We need people that go out and go international. We need people that can do that. Don't hate on that woman for doing that. Don't hate on that woman for trying to work with the people in Palestine just because you don't know no Palestinians and you don't know if they really down with you. If they got to know you, they might be down with you. But if they find out you an asshole, they probably won't be down with you. I don't know. The thing is, man, our people are oppressed all over the planet. And we've been taught to fight amongst ourselves. You know, Africans don't fuck with so-called African Americans. That ain't their fault. That ain't our fault. That's the way we've been programmed. So get over that, man. The struggle is universal. Our struggle is universal. And so it's going to take a universal awareness to change things. Just like it's going to take a universal awareness right now to respond to the sister situation. She needs you to hit up your local government, your local embassies, your Israeli embassy. You need to contact them. You know how to use the internet? Google it. Look it up. You know what I mean? Google up Cynthia McKinney hostage and find out what she said for herself on what she needs you to do. Because she needs you to email, call, and let every, every one of your homies know so that they can do it. If you don't know who she is, man, her track record is good, man. She's been fighting for you whether you knew it or not. But I don't care even if her track record wasn't that good, man. She got held hostage doing humanitarian work. She fighting for you, man. Fight for her.